In this video, we're going to learn how to add assessments and how to grade them. First of all, let's get familiar with how assessments look. Go to a course and click the Assessments tab. Here you'll see all the course assessments. The To Grade tab lists all the assessments that need grading. And in the Analytics tab, you can see a graphic with the assessments progress. We support 12 different kinds of assessments, including quizzes, essays, debates, Turnitin, surveys, team, and more. To see the details for a particular assessment, click on its name. Here is how an assessment in a module looks. Depending on the type of assessment, you can have different tabs for it, such as questions, if it's a quiz or survey, Grades, to grade, where you can see assessments that need to be graded, not submitted, which indicates the assessments that have not been submitted, analytics, proficiencies, if the course is associated with a curriculum, you can tag the assessment with proficiencies, completion, where you can add rules that should be performed upon completion of assessments, and personalize. You can personalize an assessment and give it to certain learners. Now let's add a new assessment. Go to the Assessments tab. There are two ways of adding assessments. You can add an assessment as a section of a module, or you can add an assessment as a standalone task. To add an assessment, click Add from the top right. Select the kind of assessment you want to add. Let's add, for example, an essay. Enter a title. Enter the max score. Select the category. Select the grading method. Assign a module to the assessment and select if you want the essay to be a gateway assessment, which means that learners cannot complete the module until a specified threshold score has been achieved. And finally, you can define the maximum number of attempts and if you want to allow late submissions. Then write the instructions for the assessment. In the Options tab, you can set whether learners can comment on the assessment. Once you're done with all the options, click Save. You will see the overview page of the new assessment. Assessments in a self-paced course are automatically given to learners. Instructor-led courses can be configured to give assessments automatically, or you can click on Give. Now let's see how to grade assessments. You can see the assessments that need to be graded in the right bar on the site homepage, the course right bar, or the assessments page. If you go to an assessment, you'll see a link to the submissions which need grading and a link to the scores. Click the edit icon of the submission you want to grade. A new window will open with the learner's submission. In the left side is displayed information such as the date of submission, attempts and more. The central part is where you can enter the grade, leave a comment, and add an attachment if necessary. The right side gives you the option of overriding the default max number of attempts and if you want to allow late submissions. The bottom part displays the learner's answer which you can edit to insert notes. Enter the grade, then click Save. Another way of grading assessments is directly from the scores. Click Scores from the left bar. Here you will find all the assessments. To edit a cell, click on it and then enter the score. To configure the settings for the scores display, click on Configure icon in the top right. You can then select what combination of points, percent and score to be displayed in each cell. 
What we learned in this video was how to add assessments and how to grade them using the Assessments tab and the scores. To see more features, watch some of the other videos or visit our Features page on our website.